What kind of sex is okay in marriage? What kind of sex is allowed in marriage? Before I continue, kindly know that this is an adult video. Listening to this, you have to keep the kids away. You and your partner are good to listen to this. Welcome again to my channel, Talking to God with Noe. I still remain your sister and friend, Noe Eze. And today we'll be looking at types of sex that are allowed in marriage. We all know that the marriage bed ought not to be defiled. And this takes us to the book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. And it says, Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But warmongers and adulterers, God will judge. So adultery, number one, adultery defiles marriage bed. Let's quickly see the book of Matthew chapter 19 verse 9 and it says, And I say unto you, whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, and shall marry another, committeth adultery, and whosoever marrieth her, which is put away, doth commit adultery. So we can see that one of the key points of the filing the marriage bed is adultery. You can also see the book of First Thessalonians, chapter 4 from verse 3 to 4 you can also see exodus chapter 20 verse 4. so point number two on the things that can defile the marriage bed a threesome the bible said for this reason shall a man leave his father and his mother and cleave unto his wife and two shall become one so why go for a threesome it could be the consent of your wife it could be your own consent but that is not god's consent what has god said concerning marriage two shall become one so why go for a threesome in the name of pleasure child of god you are defiling your marriage bed another thing that defies the marriage bed is porn pornography you will say you're seeing this movie this porn movie with your spouse child of god you are inviting another spirit into your home remember most of these porn stars are into drugs they take drugs they are possessed with, you know, loads of legions of spirits. And now you call yourself a Christian, yourself and your spouse, seeing porn just to arouse yourselves. Some of you will say you want to learn one or two styles. Child of God, you are learning these styles from a demonic possessed person. You know, you're getting this strength from a demon. Some of you will say watching porn gives you strength. Child of God, if your spouse does not also generate this same strength from watching this porn. You find yourself committing adultery when your wife cannot please you because of the excessive strength you have gotten from watching pornography. It pushes you outside. And by so doing, you are defiling the marriage bed. Point number four, rape. Some of you are married, but you're raping your wife. Yes, without her consent. It doesn't matter if you have paid her dowry or but without her consent, because she is sick, she is having these body pains, you decide to force yourself into your wife. Child of God, yes, you are a Christian, but you are committing rape. And by so doing, defiling the marriage bed. Let's quickly see the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 19. And it says, Husbands, love your wives and be not bitter against them. Your wife has complained that she is not feeling well. Your husband has also told you that he's having this pain. Yes, women can also rape their husbands. It's a two-sided thing, not just the men. This video is not all about women. When your spouse is not feeling well, you don't force yourself into your spouse just to satisfy your sexual urge. Child of God, if you do so as a man or a woman, you are committing rape and defiling the marital bed. Let's also see the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7 from verse 1 to 5. And it says, now consigning the things whereof ye wrote unto me it is good for a man not to touch a woman nevertheless to avoid fornication let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence and likewise also the wife unto the husband the wife had not power of her own body but the husband and likewise also the husband had not power of his own body but the wife Defraud ye not one the other, except it be with consent of time, that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer. So verse 5 is my key point. Defraud ye not one the other, except it be with consent for a time. So consent 
is what I'm talking about. Love making between spouses should be with consent, not forcefully. Now let's move to positions that are okay. Like I said, this video is an adult video. So as you're seeing it, please make sure your kids are away from you. They shouldn't be hearing these things. So let's move to positions that are okay in marriage. I'm talking about sex toys, oral sex, and etc. etc. Now these are three questions you should ask yourself. Is it prohibited in the Bible? That's one. Two, is it harmful? to your health and to the health of your spouse and three is it with mutual consent like in first corinthians chapter 7 verse 5 let's proceed number one oral sex oral sex is enjoyable especially to the man okay and also to the woman oral sex is an enjoyable one but then what are the health benefits of oral sex i've heard stories of a woman you know having an oral sex on her man and finally she had um you know what i mean as in mouth to the organ of the man her husband ejaculated into her mouth unknown to her her husband's sperm has an infection and that was how her lungs was affected thank god it did not lead to cancer so i'm not saying oral sex is not good yes we all you and i are enjoying it orally but then if it is harmful to your spouse why not keep away from it that's my own opinion. Yes, the Bible didn't condemn it. Yes, it is sweet. We enjoy it as couples. But then, if doing it orally, if a man using his mouth on his wife's um, vagina could cause harm to that man, why not avoid it? You know, because it is harmful to your spouse. You can do away with it. Except you have tested yourselves, you know, and you are free from infection. Even if you are free from infection, there are things in our mouths that ought not to touch the private parts. Truth be told, yes, we may be enjoying these things, and these are things some men and women of God will not tell you. But I'm being practical here because I love you all. Yes, you are enjoying it. Not everything that is so sweet that is good to the health. Yes, your mouth, there are, there are particles in your mouth that ought not to touch your private parts. And when they do, it results into loads of infections, cancer, and other things. Not just to the vagina, but also to your lungs, your tongue, your lip, and other things. So, I don't know. If it's not harmful to you and your spouse, it's okay. But if it's harmful, if your spouse have complained, when I did this, it affected this, I had a sore throat, please, why not do away with it? You are harming your spouse. Sex toys. Yes, it's not written in the Bible to do away with sex toy. Sex toy is not specified in the Bible. But then, I see it as masturbation. You are masturbating. It's replacing the space of your spouse. Some of you will say you are in a distant relationship. Your spouse is abroad and you are in your country. Or, you know, like a distant relationship. For those in Africa, your spouse could be working uh, uh, in America. And yes, he has consented. He has given his consent, saying you can buy. Even some of these men send the sex toys down to their wives, or their wives also send a sex toy to them. Child of God, this is masturbation. When something, when an object is replacing your husband, your spouse, child of God, you are committing adultery. Point number three, anal sex. Just like the point number one, the oral sex. Yes, it is not also written in the Bible not to have an anal sex with your spouse. Some of you will say sex is sex. But why endanger the life of your spouse? Damaging the cells of your spouse. I think if you love your spouse, you should be understanding. Marriage is all about understanding. You as a man penetrating anally into your wife, you are contacting some infections from where feces is coming out from and when you contact it you still penetrate the vagina passing same infection from the anus to the vagina of your wife so why do that yes these are pleasures in marriage but then if it will affect your spouse like i have said please as children of god let us do away with these things so child of god i'll be stopping here i don't know if i've impacted yes um it's it's a sensitive topic and um, I don't know, I still need to see your comments on this topic. This topic is for the married couples. It's for marriage, 
not for fornication, not for um, boyfriends and girlfriends, no. So as a couple, I would like to hear from you. What are your experiences, you know, and let's mind the use um, of our words. You know, this is um, YouTube and, you know, some things are prohibited. So please, I would like you to drop your comments. Um, watch this video, see this video with your spouse. I'll, be, I'll make the topic an interesting one. So once you see it, please go back, wake your spouse, you know, draw the attention of your spouse. You people should see these things together. Some, some, some sex are not just okay in marriage. Don't be deceived by the world. Don't be carried away by, by the sweetness of these things. It could be causing harm and damages to your spouse. And because you love your spouse, you would not want to lose your spouse. God bless you. Are you new to this channel? Kindly click on the subscribe button. Share this video to loved ones. Drop your comments. Send me messages on my mail. I love it when I receive messages from you people. Thank you so much. Click on the subscribe button if you're yet to do so. God bless you.